Hi guys, welcome back to Derby Coy. It's uh, Monday. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend and enjoy that glorious weather we had yesterday. Wow, what a scorcher. I think it was uh, 28 degrees or something like that. Yeah, absolutely fantastic weather. A little bit cooler today. Um, so yeah, all good. Um, right, in my last video, excuse the footage, in my last video I showed you about the black algae. Now, um, it's a lot better than it was. I am getting a bit more of the green stuff come up, but it's obviously not string algae, which is good. Um, just healthy stuff, which is good for the pond and the fish are eating it, which is great. So I'll spin you around and show you that at the moment. Okay, you can see, no more of that black algae stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's actually starting to green up a little bit, which is good. Uh, obviously with all that sunshine, the algae is starting to bloom a bit, but uh, as you can see, I've still got my watercress in here, which is really helping keep the nitrates down. And also, if you can see, these are going absolutely fantastic, my lilies. I've actually got three, four bulbs up. Three come up today. This one is just about to, to open up. If you look over here as well. Oh, excuse me. Just down in there, if you can see, I've got one, two more coming up there. And another one just popping up there. I don't think I've ever had so many flowers come on my lilies. So they're absolutely fantastic this year. They're really going really, really good this year. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, right, going back to my, the black stuff, <laughs> which I cleared out the pond as you all seen, I vacuumed it and it really uh, blocked, really made a mess of the pond. And uh, I had somebody made a comment, which is actually a, a good thing. Uh, about my bottom drain. They said, with all that stuff being drawn through, is it worth checking there's nothing caught in the bottom drain? So, I know you've seen it before, so I didn't record it or do it, but over the weekend, I actually um, give the bottom drain a quick purge. As you know, I put my uh, jet wash down it, the uh, jet wash line, and purge it out. And to be honest, it, I'm glad I did, because just to see what was coming out, there really wasn't a great deal in there. Because uh, obviously I haven't done it, I did it recently anyway. Um, all the black stuff, but there was none of that actually stuck in there, I think, because it was dead and loose. It just came straight through anyway. Uh, but if you have suffered with that black um, stuff on your pond, the dead algae, and you've got a bottom drain, or uh, it may be even a retro bottom drain, I don't know if that would affect it. Uh, it's worth just checking it anyway, if you can purge it and clean it through, just to make sure there's nothing in there and there's nothing settled. Because obviously that's dead, you don't want that rotting down. And causing uh, any bacterial issues in your pond so uh, yeah I'm glad they mentioned that because I never even thought about it but I did it anyway uh, and it all came out good so yeah uh, I didn't get much out chance to do much else the weekend but I did do my repotted my plants up my summer plants and my petunias and I forgot the name of this one now I'm sure somebody will tell me uh, yeah Martin at uh, Kai water plants and rants might be he would know about more than me I can't remember that one <laughs> but I do love my petunias must have missed I've got the uh, purple ones and some white ones coming up there so yeah I've done all of those baskets that one and I even put me put a little one on there look I'll put that up as well so I do like my little plants around here I think it just makes it look a bit better I did get a chance to cut my lawn but the most important thing I managed to do, and God, what a job it was. There you go. I've cleared that up. <laughs> All them logs I had down there, I cut up. And as you can see, I've got quite a store going up there now. I've got one more bay to collect and get that filled up. Uh, but I think that's given me a couple of, hopefully, a couple of winters worth of logs there. So free fuel. Can't be bad. Uh, these are just my sand or some sand left for me slabbing and I've got some gates there I've got to put on on the front drive got to redo them I actually need cutting down and rewelding and fabricating some bits on so they've got to go on sand for me slabs but what I did do as well all this down here out there I give that a good jet wash god was that a mess <laughs> but yeah looking good um got to sort this out on re uh well, that's, I've killed all that off. I'm going to soil it, reseed it, turn that into a bit more lawn. But yes, 
I haven't done my slabbing yet. Still got that to do. I'm just not looking forward to it. And uh, I'm sure Elaine Magro said she was going to come and help me. But we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> um, yeah, moving back. In fact, I've still got some plants left over. Um, I've got to find somewhere to put them in when I get round to it. But apart from that, it's all looking good on the pond. Um, everything's fantastic. Right, let me spin you back around. Right, um, some of you may have seen on my YouTube community page, I recently put a poll up uh, asking for your opinions on koi food and some decent growth food for the for the summer for this year. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody out of go uh, go at the poll. I said I think I had nearly a hundred um, votes on the poll, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, some good advice and some good foods there um some of them are now just <laughs> bloody expensive some of them but yeah very good foods um but i think the highest voting one was nt labs and i think it was 48 percent of the votes was nt labs um and as you all know i'm a i do like nt Labs stuff uh, i had the nt labs with german garlic uh, in the winter and it to be honest it was something i was looking at anyway the nt labs one um I think they they do two versions, the NT Labs growth and they do the probiotic growth. Uh, and I was looking at the probiotic. Um, so it did persuade me a little bit more. So if you excuse me again. This is what I went for. Just gives the sunlight. I mean for the probiotic growth, it says junior. Um, I think the other reason it's junior is because it's the three mil pellet. You see that? It says three mil pellets. I think that's what makes it junior. Uh, it's identical ingredients in the senior one, which I think are the six mil pellets. Uh, but yeah, I went for this one, um, the probiotic. Um, it's got the krill and the probiotics and spirulina, which is, uh, I know about spirulina with regards to the cichlids. Uh, that's really good for the, um, the color as well on there. Uh, but let's have a look at the pellet itself. In fact, that is supposed to be a three mil pellet. I haven't measured it. But to me, that is a small three mil pellet. Uh, I could be wrong. I was expecting a little bit bigger, but to be honest, um, I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm not just feeding just that. I am feeding um, that twice a day. And if you have a look here, once a day, I'm feeding this one, which is my mix. In here, I've got my uh, Japanese mix. My, if you remember that, a bit another, which is from Queenie Koi. I've also got the Queenie Koi Oh God, I can't think of his name. Another one I bought. If you look back at previous video, it's another one. I think it was the ultimate mix. Could be wrong. And there's some smaller ones in there, which was my, what I had left of my LA Koi growth pellets went in there as well. Um, that's not the LA Koi. That's just my, that's my NT Labs one in there. Just makes it easier to get them out. As you can see, very small pellet. Um, and you can see compared to them small pellets there, I think they're more like three mil. I'd say they're more like a two, two mil, but they love them anyway. So I'm feeding that. Uh, once a day on that one and then two or three times a day with this one but only small amounts of that and they're also having their little treat as their freshwater shrimp and they're actually loving that um if i put that in first they won't have it so i'll put a bit of that in and then that as well and then they have the both and they seem to be enjoying it really good so yeah if you had a go on the uh the poll thank you i appreciate it uh but i just as i said i decided uh, on the NT Labs Medicoy, uh, probably not Medicoy, but yeah, this is Medicoy Junior, probiotic um, growth food. And as I said, they're really, really loving that at the moment. So yeah, uh, all going good. Swing you back around to me. Uh, right, as I said in the previous video, somebody asked me about, um, again, about my Medicoy and how I do it and how I put it in the pond. So over the weekends, another little job I did, um, I put in just, well, it was only a short clip about how I mix my medicalay and how I put it in the pond and how much I put in the pond, things like that. So I'll play that back one now and I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, uh, just going from work. Uh, somebody has asked me to show them how I do my um, medicalay. I know I've done this before in a previous video, so this is just going to be a short one. Um, obviously, if you've watched my videos, you know I love my mini clay. 
So uh, this is the NT Labs Medi client. Um, a lot of people do put it in a bucket and mix it in a bucket. Uh, I do slightly different. I use this. So what I do is I put probably about half fill this with water, and then I put my Medi clay into it. Um, this size 10 grams per thousand gallons. So uh, that's if you're just going to condition the water. You want to improve the water quality. Um, if you want to, if it's for health, it's uh, 200. Where are we? My eyes are getting bad. Um, it's 200 grams per thousand liters, so thousand gallons, sorry. Um, and it's 200 grams per thousand per week if it's for uh, health reasons. So in the winter, I give it half doses, but as it's now summer, I'm going to give it a full dose. But I'll do it in two halves because this is only a small tub. Um, oops, the door's just shut on me. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I want to mix it in this. I'll show what I do. Uh, it's going to be about eight scoops in total. Six, between six and eight for a full dose. Um, so I want to put three or four scoops to start with in there. And then I'll get it in the pond. So bear with me and I'll show you what I do. Right. Um, hope you can see me. I'll just use this little scoop. So I'll use, um, use this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Mediclay into there. About four scoops for me. That's my half dose. I'll do this twice. And uh, as you can see, tighten the lid up in there. So as you can see it's in there. And all I do is shake. Probably shake it for about 30 seconds and what I do is I let it settle just for a couple of minutes to soak any water into any clumps that it's got and then uh, I give it a shake again so I'll shake it for 30 seconds and it rest for a bit give it a good shake you can normally see if there's any clumps going to settle on the bottom so it's a bit of a shake what I'll do now is I'll let that settle and I give it a shake again and then uh, it should be ready to go in the pond. Job's a good one. Okay, so that's been settled for a little while, just for a couple of minutes. So, the one final shake, just to help soak it all up. And then I'll get this in the pond. And as I said, in the winter, this is probably what I'll put in the winter, this dose. So I'll do exactly the same again. And uh, give that, his, that will give you his full 100 grams uh, dose for the summer. So if I can get the lid off, we'll get it in. Okay, so get in the pond, just uh, spread it around, it will soak itself around, or mix itself in the pond. And there you go, as you can see half dose so do the same again and we'll get that in okay so that's the first lot dispersed around the pond see it's a bit murky so second lot to go in So, so it doesn't matter where I put it around the pond to be honest it's uh, all gets mixed up through the skimmer and the as you can see nice and clean so that's it in the pond unfortunately I lose my fish for a uh, probably by morning it will start to be I'll be able to see them a lot better 12 hours fills to start to clear it out but that's how I do it all right so that was just a, a small little video of how I put more medi clay and I was asked about that one um, also I'm actually get, still getting quite a lot of pictures and videos come through uh, of people's builds on them uh, their own filters and moving beds and things like that which is absolutely fantastic keep them coming if you've done a, a filter build or a moving bed or anything like that and you want to send me the video or a picture i'd love to see them um a lot of people uh, don't want them published on the channel which is great fine not a problem but i'd still love to see them so if you got one um 
please send it through i'd love to see them and if you want it on the channel i'll stick it on there absolutely show people how you know some of these great builds out there um but one thing that somebody did ask is i did a video recently about putting a camera and i'll put a camera down in my easy pod um but obviously with uh, my build of my moving bed which is going absolutely fantastic um somebody asked if i could put a camera down in the moving bed an underwater camera just to see what's going on in there and what it's doing um because my understanding is that uh moving beds are self-cleaning so any stuff in you know any settlements on the but shouldn't be settling on the bottom because of the constant flow of water uh, so i don't know how good it's going to be so i'm going to try and do some filming and i'll stick that down there it might be great footage might not be um but we'll see so uh let me get my camera together stick it down there and we'll see what we get Right, so that was the footage in the moving bed. Not, yeah, in the moving bed. Um, don't know how good it is until play back, so hopefully it'll be okay to put in this video and uh, we'll see how we get on with that one. So, yeah, um, all looking good. Right, moving on. Um, I'm assuming most of you will know who Wrighty is, Terry. If you don't, pop over to his channel. Um, he's absolutely fantastic. I love Terry to bits. Some of the stuff he does is absolutely fantastic. He's, he's made his mind works and his technical mind and uh, he must have an engineer's brain that's all i can say um if you haven't seen him pop over and see him say hello um whether you're aware or not he's actually started a uh, new club uh called the slipper club <laughs> um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can get in there and uh busy wants in on it as well so let me spin you around and ask what you see what you think of these terry okay then terry um so are these good enough for your uh, slip a pond club what do you reckon are they good enough and uh Bisley wants to get in on the act as well so can we get in then terry what do you think of these ones as well all right you reckon boy you want to join terry's slipper club hey what do you reckon <gasps> yes oh you do Fantastic. There's a good boy. Thanks, Terry. Jobs are good. Un. <laughs> what do you think, Terry? Are good enough? Let me know what you think. If we can move busy, you can join. Fantastic. Right. Uh, so, fingers crossed on the uh, slipper club there. Um, let's give these a bit of food. It's about only a little bit. Um, I'll come off for that in a second. Right, um, it's getting really close now to my, uh, my channel's first year birthday, which is next month. Um, I can't believe how well it's done so far. I think about 1.7, somewhere around there, or just under, something like that. So I'm getting really close uh, to that 2000 as well. Uh, but as it's coming up to my first year birthday for the channel for derby koi um keep watching out for this space when it comes up i'm hoping for a bit of a giveaway and give a few prizes away to say a big thank you to all the old subscribers and all the new ones so keep your eye out for that one and as i said i'm getting really close to the 2000 it'd be absolutely fantastic if, we, if i could hit the 2000 by um my first year birthday so i'm <laughs> henry just come up with some food uh, they're a little bit hungry yeah, me and Busy would love it if we can get it. Come here, boy. Hey, come say hello. Come on, stop. Come on in. Yeah, hello, boy. So, yeah, we'd love it if we could uh, 
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> be absolutely great if you could uh, reach that uh, 2,000 for the birthday, wouldn't you, boy? Uh, so, a big thank you to all the subscribers and new and our, the old subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd really be great if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to hit the little bell for your notifications. Uh, like the video. It'd be great if you could share it. Don't forget, I've got a Facebook page as well. Pop on over there and say hello. Uh, that's it from now for from me and my boy. Stay safe. Jobs are good.